Ladies and gentlemen, how is it going? Kluger is here, and he is in the Disc Jam playtest. I don't know how to tell you guys this, or if I've ever spoken about the game Wind Jammers before, but that is a game I am- Whoa, this game is hard to play. It's a game I was- I am proper addicted to. We have got it on an arcade machine at work, and we play the bejesus out of Wind Jammers. Wind Jammers is basically the mid-90s, or no, even early 90s version of this game, basically. Um, whoa, Jesus, it's hard to talk and play. <laughs> I've only played this game for like half an hour, so I'm still getting the, getting the hang of it. Um, for God's sake. Windjammers is basically the 90s version of this on arcade. And it was, it was a different, slightly different view, but the concept is the same. Throwing disc. Competitive disc throwing where you got to get the disc past your, your buddy on the other end of the court over there. And it's really, I'm finding it really challenging right now. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys some footage of this because I think it's in pre-alpha right now. You can jump on their website. I'll have relevant links down below so you can get involved if you like. Um, yeah, they're in pre-alpha testing and they're doing playtest windows. And I here I am in playtest number three. Managed to jump online for a while. Oh, we got that one. Nice. So yes, if anyone's familiar with Windjammers, it's conceptually the same. <coughs> this game is hard, man. I don't, I'm playing McKenna, the new character, and she seems to be a bit underpowered right now. Maybe it's just me. She's meant to be the fast, nimble one. But it just seems I get overpowered by the tanky dude. As you can plainly see. I'm playing my buddy Grey Fox, by the way, from the Royal Perception crew, aka James. Hey, I got a point. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, man. Oh, what? That's bullcrap, man. Rematch plus. So yeah, I just want to bring you guys some footage of the playtest while it's still going down. Um, it's really awesome and fun. The, the, it, I think you've already gathered the whole concept of the game. It's the throw the disc past your opponent. Oh, for God's sake. I'm still re really trying to get the hang of the physics. It's tripping me out, man. Yeah, points. Um, so you you can throw your discs at varying degrees of power, basically. Oh, for crap's sake. <laughs> the quicker you throw the disc, the more power you get on it. You can put curve on it. Oh, I caught it for once. And you, there's power moves, you can slide and all that sort of stuff. You, as you can see what James just did there, he skimmed his disc along the wall by curving it into the wall. There's all sorts of little meta here. The game, while structurally completely different, is reminiscent, I feel, of um, Rocket League. Oh, he caught that. Reminiscent of Rocket League in that it seems on the face of it to be designed to be pretty balanced. Um, in terms of... Come on, fool. Ah. Oh, what? That was there. It seems to be pretty balanced in terms of um, the game, because it's... Damn it, I tried a net rush. Because it's pretty simplistic in its structure, right? It's just two people. Uh, a court that's the same on both sides. Oh, for crap's sake, I keep chasing the disc. McKenna is hard to play. Oh, it did way better when I was playing the other character. Ah. Oh. That's what the, that's easily the most annoying mechanic so far. Getting smashed in the back with the disc. McKenna's meant to be the most the faster of the two characters, but I don't feel like that's making up for a lack of power, to be honest. At least not yet. But hey, we're in pre-alpha over here, so I can't be too picky. Ow. I don't think net rush is going to work that well in this game. Um, yeah, so it's mechanically uh, very simple. Just like Rocket League is, I got absolutely destroyed. Ouch. McKenna equals underpowered. LOL! Because he's absolutely destroying me. Alright. So he acknowledges. See, McKenna's underpowered, I told you. I want to get used to the, the, the different character, though. Oh, come on, I didn't get my power up there. So, let's see if I can get this labored point out of my head. Ah, oh, jeez. Mechanically, it's very simple, much like Rocket League. Um, where it's, you know, pretty simple rules. It's a, a game that's easy to get used to. Um, or fairly easy. It feels weird at the moment, but it's a brand new game, so... I've got to be patient. But mechanically, it's a very simple idea. Um, oh. So, it's just going to lend itself to people getting all into the meta and, you know, getting really fine-tuned on all their skills and getting the hang of all the little nuances, you know, all that- Ooh, yeah! 
all that kind of stuff, you know? I hope this game takes off. Not in... Oh, he said Jamesy just said sick rally. It definitely was. Oh, I finally executed a net rush successfully. We seem to be getting better, actually. Totes, we... Oh, we... We improving. <laughs> awesome. See, so yeah, I'm hoping this game takes off because it's got that Rocket League sort of competitive vibe to it. You know, hopefully it becomes like an eSport or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? But, um... I'm super keen on this because of our Windjammers addiction. Uh, it's basically me, uh, Grey Fox over there, and Ashberg, or Ash. If you watch Roll for Perception, he GMs um, our... What's it called? <laughs> our Stars Without Number series. He's a cool bloke. Ow! Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Um, we're so we just got really into Windjammers late, like, obviously way late to the game because Windjammers was out like 20 something years ago. But it's a really awesome game because it's so well balanced. So you just, it's all about your skill and your uh, use of um, your different spin and pace and all that sort of stuff. And, ooh, that was a nice shot. Ah, oh, so close. Um, and it just becomes more or less about skill. Don't ban me, James. Come on. Now I'm hoping I get the hang of this a bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. Trying to get the hang of McKenna's movement. Ah, oh, wrong-footed myself. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be us playing now, really, effectively. Oh yeah, got the curves going. So there's nice little curve manipulation you can do with um, your left bumper. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? So there's, yeah, beautiful little um, manipulations you can do with um, your aim stick. So you can kind of curve into a shot like that by just rolling uh, your aim, your left, your le your left stick. Which is also uh, used to aim throws. How can I not get to that? I should probably run more. McKenna's meant to be faster along the floor. Ah, I'm trying to get in that position. <laughs> Man! Uh, but you can use your bumpers. Ooh, that was a nice throw. Good catch by Jamesy, though. So now I got in that position. Am I just trolling myself? I feel like I'm just trolling myself. Ah! Three <laughs> points. Um, but yeah, you can use your, um, you're supposed to be able to use your left and right triggers for, like, quick curves. <laughs> oh, I'm hopeless. I'm actually the good one at Windjammers, but I'm getting smashed in this. Water, please. Getting knocked in the back is GG. If you get knocked over in the original Windjammers, you can still get up in time. Oh no, we glitched! Oh, as if... <laughs> I thought that glitched. Ah. I want to get used to this character, though. Meh, all good. Oh, come on, baby! Oh, I'm having a tr I'm I'm having a trouble with the depth perception here. I seem to go too, um, to too close towards a disc. How am I that? I don't know how I'm not getting to that. I'm like right there. Ah. See, the competitiveness in me is coming out, and I know that I'm onto a good game when it's doing, getting me all jazzed. And Rocket League does as well. Ah, see, I'm. Just <laughs> God damn it. Oh, so frustrating. But it's the same with Rocket League, trying to get used to that, you know, in the in the first place. Uh, you know, just struggling against the mechanics and all that. But I will get the hang of it, as I did with Rocket League. I'm pretty okay at Rocket League these days. But yeah, this is that this is that kind of game where it's just got that vibe where you just know people are gonna get super into it. Hopefully, just we we find a. I'm saying we already. 
hopefully we find a following um, and people get way into it, right? That'll be so good. I'm just gonna be one of those games, man. Just the meta's gonna evolve and people are gonna find more and more advanced strats. I did it again. I did it again. See, I'm still so brand new with this. I'm still trying to understand the best ways to attack and defend and when to go for it and stuff. Wow, what? I'm not sure how I didn't catch that. Get that down the line. James seems to have a better better grip on the curve than I do. I'm, I'm not really getting many curve shots in there, see? I'm just throwing it against the bumpers way too much. There we go. Whoa. Way too diagonal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this game is so annoying. <laughs> in a good way. When I'm getting annoyed, it's I'm getting annoyed at my own uh, inability, basically. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Finally. Ugh, not at the game's mechanics. It's oh, Well, no. Not at the game's mechanics. Definitely not. It's I'm annoyed at me being stupid and unable to play games good. Yeah, get some curve on ya. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm still trying to get used to the manipulation of the stick, kind of like flying strats in Rocket League. Um, you got to get used to the touch of the of the left stick to angle your car properly and get your boost timing right. You know, all that kind of jazz. It's the same here. It's a, obviously a different game, but it's the same notion of getting a feel for all the ins and outs. And man, the Unreal Engine, what a beast this engine is, huh? Look at the games it is bringing us. Look at the games it is bringing us, and how gorgeous does this look for a pre-alpha game, right? It looks amazing. So, um, I should talk about you guys getting involved. You've got to get in on this. Look, James, he's figuring it out. See, he's, he's sitting still in certain situations when the disc is just coming to him. So get involved. Jump on their website. Hi, I think it's highhorseentertainment.com. Again, I'll link it in the description below. Um, as of the making of this video, you can just get a Steam key for free, um, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, finally won one. <laughs> the curve is so good. Hey, what? Oh, no! I got booted. But yeah, look, maybe I'll just finish the video here. Because you've seen the footage, and maybe I'll, I'll post some more if you guys are into this. But basically, as of the time of this video, you can jump on their website and just ask for a Steam key. Um, and they'll just they'll give it straight to you. No, no money is required, which is really cool. Um, so jump on there. You can get involved. Um, if you're watching this video the day I'm making it, which is now... Uh, there is another playtest window in another uh, 18 hours or so. Um, again, that's going to be on their website, so check that out. And then there'll be future playtests, hopefully, um, not too far down the track. Uh, so get in on it, because it's really fun and addictive and delicious. So um, be sure to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video, because I will absolutely be making more of this as it goes through alpha and through to final release. I'll be playing this for sure. You will see me online and I'll probably beat your ass. I'm joking. I'm joking. But I will love to play against all of you. So get involved. Get this community growing. And I hope to see you soon. My name is Kluger. And you have a good one.